It is possible to be in the church and never know the voice of Jesus. Many people ask preachers and pastors, how do I know that Jesus talks to me? Even people who have been saved for many years say that I have never heard Jesus say anything to me. Well, the Bible said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. I want you to be encouraged because God likes to talk. He wants to say something to you. You do not serve a mute God. You do not serve a God who sits in the heavens, crosses his legs, and acts indifferently towards you. He wants to be involved in every area of your life. He speaks through his word. That's the safest place. He speaks to you from Genesis to Revelation. He talks to you about your home, about your attitude, about your relationship, about your future, about your goal, about your destiny, about your children, about your love, even about your thoughts. So don't tell me that God doesn't speak. The Bible said that he holds the world by the power of his mouth. The Bible says that in the beginning, he said, let there be. And there was, oh yes, he's a talking God. Come on and tell somebody, he's a talking God. He's a talking God. But sometimes you have to make yourselves available. And the more he talks, you shall listen. And the more you obey him, is the more you'll get to know him. So you know him by what he says. And if he says something that doesn't correspond or if you think he's saying something that doesn't agree with the Bible, you know that's not God. But if he says it and you can find it in the word, you can say that's it, that's it, that's it, that's God, that's God. And when he says it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And you do it and you become out a winner. And then he says it tomorrow and you do it and you go a little higher. And he says it on the Thursday and you do it and you go a little higher. And he says it on the Friday and you do it and you go a little higher. After a while you can say I know the voice of Jesus I hear him when he calls I believe God is calling somebody tonight I think you ought to clean out your ears and get ready for God to speak to you in the name of Jesus I command you to hear what thus saith the Lord and he that hath an ear hallelujah let him hear let him hear let him hear what the Lord has to say, I know the voice of Jesus. In his word, he said that I would recognize his voice. Not because I'm rich, but I am his joy. Oh, Jesus.